Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a song with GarageBand and use the audio that you downloaded. Um, so I'm going to open up GarageBand on my iPhone. Uh, you just search for GarageBand, find the icon. Um, you're going to get to a screen that um, might look kind of like what I have now. Um, it might look a little bit different, but what you're looking for is this plus icon that says create song. So you could have it up on the top right corner, um, you could have it uh, somewhere else. Uh, it might be a little bit different. If it's the first time you've ever run GarageBand, it's not gonna look like mine does right now because it's gonna initialize it. But I'm gonna create a new song. And when I go to create the new song, it gives me some options for what I want to start with. So I'm just kind of like scrolling through these things. The only thing you really need to worry about for this project is this audio recorder. So you're going to select audio recorder and um, click on the little microphone in the bottom left. It says voice. And okay, it's going to bring you here. This is just sort of the controls for voice. You don't really need to do anything with this at the moment. You can play with this later. Um, quick tour top left of this screen, you've got that little down facing triangle that gets you back to your files. Um, the thing that kind of, you know, you got like a little, two little um, squares and a big square in the middle, that's gonna get you back to that loop screen where you get to um, pick voice recorder or guitar or whatever. Um, the one next to it with the different size rectangles and squares uh, gets you to the view that we need to be working with. So I'm gonna click that and here we go. Here are our tracks. So right now it's empty, except there's one track that exists that has a picture of a microphone next to it, but there's nothing there. Um, top right corner, the gear icon is the settings, don't worry about that. Um, the loop icon uh, next to it is what we want. So we're gonna click that, and it's gonna bring you into all the things you can import into GarageBand. I'm gonna hit Files, and navigate over to where I have my um, files that I downloaded in the previous video. So I'm gonna um, grab one of these. So I'm gonna click on it and hold it down. You have to hold down on it. I always forget to do that. But you have to hold down on it and do it again. I'm gonna hit the little loop. Go back in, I'm gonna grab another one here. I'm gonna hold down on it and it's gonna drop it into another track. Now, you wanna make sure that these things are moved back all the way to the beginning. You want them all to start at the same time so that they line up right. So you hold down, you tap it, hold down, and move it over. Now, another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is up in the top to the right of the record button, um, there's that like blue triangle looking thing with something sticking out of it. That's a metronome. For those of you who are musicians, that's gonna give you your count. It you know clicks and it's really annoying. So you wanna turn that off when you're recording your voice. GarageBand defaults to having it on. Don't know why, but whatever. All right, so once you've loaded in all your tracks, you can start playing around with this. You can zoom in so you can get like a little bit more detail. Anytime you see um, these little bumps here, like if you look at the one, the, the bottom track that's highlighted, you see there's little bumps. That means that the student was talking there. Um, where it's just a flat line, there's probably no sound happening. So you wanna be aware of those. And then you can start doing things like, you know, cutting out or just playing with the volume. You probably don't really need to do a lot of cutting yet. Um, I think what you probably wanna focus on first is making sure that everybody's volume um, is uniform and people all kind of sound the same um, in terms of like the effects and everything. So you can you can play with the effects. You can, um, you know, if you double click on the icon of the microphone, you get into this sort of effect screen. You can play around with these things however you want. You can always go back by hitting the, um, the you know multi rectangle box uh, icon. So there's there's a bunch of stuff you can you can actually make happen with this. Once you've got it all loaded into GarageBand, you can start editing it. There's a way to um, to cut um, if you put your if you if you move uh, this thing around. See that I'm moving here uh, by dragging on the ruler bar up at the top. You can get your playhead into into a place where you want it. And then you can um, you can make some cuts. So if you tap on the 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 um, audio track that you want to edit, the easiest way I found to make cuts 
you tap on it, um, you do split, and then you have to drag those little scissors down and do it for the bottom one. Uh, split, boom. And then let's say we want to like, you know, just cut out some of this dead space here. So maybe we want to move back. Split. Oops. Move down. This guy. Split. Boom. Now you can delete these little chunks that you took out. So tap on it. Delete. Tap on it. Delete. Move these things over. And it, we just cut out, you know, a second or two of audio. Anyway, play around with it. If you have questions about it, let me know. But it's pretty simple. When you're all done.